So, good afternoon. Our next lesson is about triangles on page 345. So, a triangle is said to be the simplest and most stable polygon. Simplest because it has the least number of sides. Ilan ba ang sides ng triangle? So, we have three sides. Siya ang pinakakunting side sa ating polygon. And the most stable polygon because of its rigid form. Okay? And thus, among all polygons, triangles are applied widely as seen in the construction of buildings, bridges, and towers. Diba? Uh, laging parang ang ginagamit is yung triangle shape kasi meron tayong pinaka base niya. And mamaya, pag-aaralan natin yung kanyang parts. So, we have the terms associated with the triangle. So, I will show you our whiteboard. Ayan. So, meron tayo dito yung mga different terms na ating triangle. So, first, we have the exterior angle. So, for example, we have this triangle. Ay. Lines na lang. And then, dito. So, for example, we have this triangle. And then, when we say exterior angle, di ba yun yung nasa labas? So, when we say exterior angle, an angle that is adjacent and supplement to one of the interior angles of the triangle. So, ito yung ating mga interior angles. Yung nakapaloob. Di ba? Nakapasok dun sa ating triangle. And yung ating exterior angle, yung kapag in-extend mo yung one side. For example, itong side na ito. So, in-extend natin yan. So, that is our exterior angle. So, ito. Halimbawa, ang given na uh, angle ng nasa loob na ito is sabihin nating 70 degrees. So, a total, ang total ng straight angle is 180. So, therefore, ilan yung ating exterior? Kung ang interior niya ay 70. Kung ang total ay 180, meron ka ng 70. Subtract mo lang. 180 minus 70, that is 100. So, therefore, ang exterior angle natin dito, nag-measure siya ng 110 degrees. Maliwanag, meron tayong interior angle, which is yung nasa loob ng triangle. And ang exterior, yun yung kapag in-extend mo, yung isang side ng triangle. Okay? Next, we have the remote interior angle. So, since meron tayo dito exterior, yung dalawang side na hindi natamaan dito sa ating uh, line na ito, which is the uh, yung katuglong ng no, exterior angle, yun yung ating dalawang in, uh, remote interior angle. So, therefore, kung ito yung angle ng ating uh, kasama ng no, exterior angle, itong dalawang angle niya ng ating remote interior angles. Okay? Itong dalawang ito ang remote interior angles ng ating exterior angle na ito. Halimbawa naman, dito yung ating exterior angle. So, kung ito yung ating exterior angle, Ang dalawang remote interior angle natin ay ito at ito. Maliwanag? Maliwanag ba yung ating remote interior angles? Paano naman kapag dito yung ating exterior angle? Will you give me the remote interior angles of this exterior angle? O, alen? Alen? Ito. Interior, ano niya ba to? Remote niya ba? Remote interior angle ba ito ng ating exterior angle na ito? Yes. Kasi ito yung kanyang interior and then itong dalawang to niyan ang kanyang remote interior angles. Okay? Next, we have the angle bisector. It is a line passing through the vertex of the angle that divides the angle into two equal smaller angles. For example, we have this one. Ito. For example, ito yung ating angle. Ayan. So, kapag uh, yung ating ayan, yung ating angle bisector, yun yung naghahati dun sa from vertex ng ating angle na ito, i-divide niya into two smaller angle. Okay? So, ito nyan. So, for example, papangalanan natin sila. We have ito si A, ito si B, C, D. So, ibig sabihin, yung naghati dun sa angle para makaform siya ng dalawang maliit na angle. Ito yung na-form yung dalawa. So, we have the angle bisector BD. Itong BD. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 
yung ating angle by sector dito sa given na angle na ito ay BD. Maliwanag ba yung ating angle by sector? Tandaan lang kung alin yung nag-divide dun sa dalawang or dun sa isang angle to form two smaller angles. Next, we have the altitude. For example, our triangle is this one. Wait lang. Ito. For example, we have A triangle. Ayan. So, altitude. An altitude is a line which passes through the vertex of a triangle and is at right angles of the opposite side. So, para makaform tayo ng right angle, kailangan, di ba, para siyang pal letter L. Di ba? So, kung uh, from vertex daw, down to the base, ayan, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang opposite right angle. Angle. At anong tawag dito sa line na ito, yung naghati dun sa triangle? That is the altitude. Okay? From the vertex down to the base of the triangle to form right angles. Okay? That is an altitude. And next, we have median. This is a segment joining a vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side. So, kung kanina, we have the altitude, yan yun, from vertex down to the base. Meron naman tayo dito, uh, triangle, which is kapag from vertex up to the midpoint, okay, of the opposite side. For example, ito, yung ating, ito yung ating vertex. So, ano ba yung kanyang midpoint? Ito yun, di ba, yung kalahate nung opposite side niya. So, yan yun. Tapos, how about itong vertex nito? Kalahati nito. So, ito yan. And then, how about this one? Yung kalahati niya, ito. So, ayan. Yung mga yan ay median. Okay? Ngayon, anong tawag naman? Teacher, ano pong tawag dun sa point na nag-intersect dun sa tatlong median natin? Ito yun. Anong tawag dyan? We have the centroid. Okay? Ang centroid kasi is, ang uh, tag dito, yung kapag yung three medians natin ay nag-intersect at a single point, so that is the centroid. Okay? Next, we have the perpendicular bisector of a side. So, given a side of a triangle, a perpendicular bisector is a segment or a line that is perpendicular to, to a given side and passes through the midpoint of the given side. So, pag sinabi natin perpendicular, di ba, for example, uh, meron tayong parang nag-form siya na right angle. Ito, parang ito. So, dalawang line. Ayan. So, na-form siya ng right angle that is perpendicular. Perpendicular sila. Next, we have the triangles according to their angles. Clear ba sa atin itong mga terms na ito? Yung mga different terms oh, for a common understanding about triangles. Clear ba yung ating mga na-discuss? Okay. So, now let's proceed to triangles according to their angles. So, meron tayong, kung dati, dun sa mga angles, meron tayong acute angles, meron tayong right angles, and obtuse angle. Ganon din sa ating triangle. Meron tayong acute triangle, obtuse triangle, and right triangle. Ano ba yung pinagkaiba nila? So, same lang naman sila dun sa angles. Okay? When we say acute triangle, all the triangles are acute. For example, we have this, uh, triangle. Ayan. So, i-assume natin na ang measurement ng ating uh, for example, this triangle is named triangle ABC. And then, sabihin natin si angle A ay nag-measure ng uh, 70 degrees. For example lang to ha. And then, sabihin natin ang ating angle B ay 50 degrees. And then we have, ito, sabihin natin, 70 din siya. Ay, hindi, sobra, 60. Ayan. So, sabihin natin ganyan yung mga measurement nila. We have angle A, 70 degrees, si B, 50 degrees, C, 60 degrees. Ilan ba ang kabuang uh, measurement ng triangle? We have 100 80. So, 70 plus 60, we have 130 plus 50, a total of 180 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, 
lahat ng ating mga angle. So, we have angle A less than 90 degrees. That is an acute. Angle B less than 90 degrees acute. And then angle C less than 90 degrees acute. So, this one is an example of acute triangle. Kapag all the angles are acute. Maliwanag sa acute triangle. Okay. So, let's proceed to obvious triangle. So, dito, one angle lang. Kahit na alin sa mga angles niya ay obvious uh, angle that is an obvious triangle. So, for example, we have this kind of uh, triangle. Ayan. So, for example, ang measurement ng mga to ay sabihin natin ito ay 130 degrees. Tapos, ito ay 30 degrees. At itong isa, we have 20 degrees. So, a total of 180 degrees. So, kahit na isa lang sa mga angles niya ay obtuse or sobra sa 90 degrees, therefore, it is an example of obtuse triangle. Okay? Kasi itong angle ng ito ay sumobra sa 90 degrees. O kaya... Ang angle na ito ay obtuse angle. That's why ang triangle na ito, if one angle is obtuse, therefore it is an obtuse triangle. Maliwanag sa obtuse triangle. Okay. Next, let's proceed to right triangle. So dito naman, one angle is right and measures 90 degrees. Diba kapag right angle, ay right, ito. Right angle, yun yung parang nag-form siya ng uh, L. Ito. Okay, so kapag isa sa mga angle ng ating triangle ay right angle, so therefore it is a right triangle. Okay, parang same lang sila ng definition but now nasa triangle naman tayo. Clear ba yung ating triangles according to their angles? Okay, let's proceed now to the triangles according to its sides or according to their sides. So tatlo yon. We have the isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, and the isosceles triangle. So when we say isosceles triangle, no two sides are equal. So for example, we have this kind of triangle. So walang dalawa, dalawang side ang equal. So halimbawa, eto hindi naman equal dito at yan hindi naman siya equal yan. So therefore, kapag walang equal, we have the isosceles triangle. Okay. Pero, paano kapag lahat naman ay equal? For example, ito. Sabihin natin equal yung mga yan. So, kung ito ay equal dito and equal din dito, all, all sides are equal. That is an equilateral triangle. Okay? And how about the isosceles triangle? So, dito naman, kung dito sa iskalin, no two sides are equal, dito naman sa ating isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Paano yon? For example, ito at ito equal sila. Ito, ito equal. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa dyan ang equal. We have the isosceles triangle. So, hindi equal itong sa baba. Okay? Hindi ito equal. Yung dalawa lang ang equal. So, that is an isosceles. Pero kapag tatlo ang equal, that is an equilateral. And kapag wala sa kanila ang equal, that is an isosceles triangle. And we have also, at in an isosceles triangle, the two congruent sides are called the legs. Okay? Ano daw tawag sa ating two congruent sides? etong sides na ito, tsaka ito. Anong tawag dyan? We have the legs. Okay? And the third side, ito, yung sa baba, that is what we call base. Okay? And the opposite or the angle opposite the base is called the vertex angle. So, meron tayong tatlong vertex dito. Sa ating given triangle, so ito, vertex sa taas, dito sa right, and dito sa left. Okay? Meron tayong mga... Teacher. Yes? Mahina po yung wifi ni Seska. Oh, sige na. Thank you for that information. Again, we have vertex, ito, yung mga angles. Okay? So, the angle opposite, the base, is called the vertex. Ano ba yung ating vertex? Ay, base. Ito yung base. So, yung opposite sa kanya, ito yung ating vertex angle. At, ano naman yung tawag dun sa dalawa? So, that is the base angle. Yung angle ng base natin. Okay? Clear ba yung ating uh, triangles according to their sides? 
clear ba yung ating angles? Yung definitions, yung triangles, yung mga terms. So, clear na lahat ng pinag-usapan natin today. So, to sum up our discussion today, we have, di ba, yung mga different terms. So, we have the exterior angle, yun yung kapag in-extend mo yung isang side ng triangle, yun yung ating exterior angle. And, yung sa ating remote interior angles, yung dalawang sides na, or dalawang angles na hindi natamaan ng ating exterior angle or the two angles inside the triangle that do not share a vertex with the exterior angle. And we have the angle bisector, yun yung uh, line na na-touch yung vertex and then nahati yung big, a larger angle into small, smaller angles. And then we have the altitude, yung from the vertex ng triangle up to the base. Okay? Nagka-form siya na right angle and we have the median yung from the vertex up uh, up to the midpoint of the side of, or of the opposite side that is the median and anong tawag dun sa kapag pinag-connect connect yung mga medians yung in, kung saan siya nag-intersect yung tatlong medians anong tawag doon starts with letter C centroid nakalimutan na so we have the centroid and next, we have the perpendicular bisector of a side. So given a side of a triangle, a perpendicular bisector is a segment or a line that is perpendicular to a given side and passes through the midpoint of the given side. And next, we have the triangles according to their angles. Tatlo yon, acute triangle, right triangle, obtuse triangle. Kapag all sides are acute, anong tawag doon? All sides are acute, anyone? Okay, triangle po. Yes. How about kapag one angle is right and measures 90 degrees? We have... Right triangle Right po. triangle. And yung isa, obtuse triangle, that is one angle is obtuse. And then we have triangles according to their sides. Kapag all sides are equal, anong tawag natin? If all sides are equal, we have... Equilateral triangle. And kapag two sides are equal, isosceles. Isosceles. Pero kapag yung dalawang sides hindi equal or wala, kahit na dalawang sides ang equal, that is the iskalin triangle. Okay? And anong tawag natin dun sa pinakababa ng triangle? Anong tawag doon? We have the base. Okay? And then yung dalawang hindi base, anong tawag doon? We have the legs. Okay? Anong tawag dun sa mga uh, kung saan nag-connect yung ating mga lines? Anong tawag dun sa mga yon? Vertex. Okay? So that's all for this day. Thank you again for your time, for participation, and for listening. Okay? So that ends our meeting for today. Good day!